So my beautiful people, today I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I'm going to showcase to you a couple of items, one mainly which is incredible as it raises your intelligence by five. All you got to do is wear it in one of those talisman slots and it is as simple as that. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so we know there are tons of items hidden around the world of Elden Ring. Some good, some not so good. Today, guys, I bring you something which is pretty amazing. A talisman which raises your intelligence by a whole five. And unlike a lot of the other talismans, it doesn't reduce any other stats. So to get this item is relatively straightforward. It's also rewarded with something called the Curse Mark of Death, which we'll talk more about in a quick second. But firstly, this talisman, the Stargazer Heirloom, is something you're definitely going to want to get if you're a mage playing this game. Okay, so basically, Rani and her questline, a quite decent lengthy one will take you about an hour an hour and a half if you uh, do it quickly i've also got a guide a full guide on this quest i'll link it down below if you do want to check it out that will help you out a ton but it's a quest line you do need to complete once you complete it well about towards the end of it rani will give you an object now this object is very important into how you get the stargazer heirloom as well as the curve mark of death so this item here is what you need. Once you get this guys, you are good to go and grab this thing. So once you have it people, you need to come to the study hall entrance, which you can see on the map right here. Come to the Korean study hall. From here guys, you need to place this object on this table and you will get a cutscene. What actually happens is guys, the study hall turns upside down. Wild, I know, but yeah, amazing. Now, once this happens, guys, you then need to follow the path I take on screen now. Heading upwards or downwards, I don't know, depending on how you look at the building. Either way, follow the path I take now. Be very careful because there's a lot of fools here, which will no doubt lead to you dying. Now once you get here guys, you need to jump down onto this lift, stand in the middle. This will take you down, or up again, I don't know. Either way, once you get down here, or up here, there will be a door in front of you. You need to go to that door people. Once you open it, run across this bridge. Now towards the middle of it, you will get the Godskin Noble boss you need to take out. So take him out guys. Once you do this, progress forward and open this massive door. Within here guys, take the lift upwards. Once you get to the very top, follow the path around as I do on screen now. And at the very top and next to this dead body, you will find the curse mark of death as well as the stargazer heirloom which increases your intelligence like i said by a plus five now the curse mark of death is something used to drastically change the ending to this game so you may want to pick it up now i ain't going to spoil anything for you i will suggest you doing everything you want to do before finishing the game holding on to this maybe one of those things you want to do also so yes guys keep a hold of this 
you do want to research more into what I'm talking about because I don't want to spoil it for a lot of viewers, you can always just search what is the curse mark of death in Elden Ring and plenty of things come up guys. But it's a very important item guys, just put it that way. But here we have it guys, this is how you get the Stargazer Heirloom as well as the curse mark of death in Elden Ring. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.